Okay, so let's try this again. Hi, everybody. How you doing this evening? It's Michelle Jackson coming to you on Monday evening or morning or afternoon, wherever you may be looking at this uh, speaking at this time. Um, I hope that everybody is doing well. And I pray that you all had a blessed weekend and your day is still going good. My name is Michelle Jackson, and I want to know that want you to know that I am praying for you as well. If there's anything that you are going through, I pray that it is uh, giving you a little bit of relief and that you also know that God is in control of all of your uh, mishaps, issues, uh, deaths in the family or friend or a loss of loved one, loved one, like I mean, that's what I meant to say. And, uh, just pray that you all are doing well today. I am coming to you in reference to uh, you giving up on a project that you were uh, working on because it was taking too long and um, you had given yourself a deadline, but not weathering the fact that there may be uh, obstacles that come along the way when you're trying to get a uh a project done. So don't let that project um, issue disturb you, you know, and have you just give up, you know, pick up those feelings and get encouraged and know that you're going to have obstacles. And because if you think that everything that you're trying to do is just going to be easy peasy, oh my gosh, no, that's not, that's not the way it is. Not saying that you're always going to have the issue, but there is going to be an issue sometimes when you're trying to uh, do a project that you had your mind set on. Don't give up on that uh, project. Just go ahead on and continue to work on it. And if you have to have someone to help you through it, it's all right, too, you know, um, because sometimes we need other people to help us on our projects that we're trying to uh, do. Um Yes, God gives us, he gives us word, he gives us ideas, he gives us gifts, um, but he also has people on the earth that has gifts as well that can help you with your project. So don't uh, be discouraged on that. Um, you're going to get your due on the project that you are doing because God put that in you and he's going to give you the guidance He's going to give you the wisdom for you to share that gift that he gave you. Only you can share that gift because he gave it to you to share. So you still may need to have to ask somebody to help you. Don't be discouraged on having some other people to help you with it because sometimes you just can't do it all by yourself. You know, we have teams. They're all teams that are um, able to do whatever it is that you may be trying to do. Sometimes having a team maybe even be better than you just trying to do it all by yourself. Um, you know, don't give up. Don't give up on the project if you have to ask somebody else because you probably wasn't looking forward to asking anybody. But sometimes you have to ask somebody else to help you with your project, and it'd be less stress on you. All right. Um, so continue to uh, believe in yourself. No matter what um, obstacle comes your way and continue to proceed in your project that you're doing and uh, try not to put too many projects on you at one time. Try to do one at a time so you can put good effort on the one that you're trying to perform so the persons that you may be trying to be blessed can get the blessing that you are trying to give to them. Because if you put too much on you, you may not be able to proceed on the project that you wanted to do because you put so much on you and you can't put in what you really need to put into it. So give yourself some time, give yourself some breathing room. And if you have to ask someone to help you, be humble enough to get the help that 
will be offered to you because it always comes out that God puts people in our in our path, you know, and believe it or not, that person or that uh, person that has that gift is the one that should be working with you on that project. I am um, hoping that you are still encouraged on whatever it is that you're doing because a lot of times we fall back because of the distractions that we have and we just give up and say, oh, man, I can't do this. Um, But you're not a quitter. You're a warrior. You're a go-getter. You are a person that wants to bless others because you have been blessed so that's what you want to do. You want to bless others as well. Um, you may have had a sickness in the past, or you may have ended up with COVID, which I had. And um, thank God that it wasn't really, really bad. It just uh, took me down a little bit. I was really tired, but I didn't have to go into the hospital. I didn't have any uh, really uh, bad symptoms except for just being tired. So I didn't have any medication. I just stayed at home, stayed isolated, and um, just try to rest and uh, thank God that I didn't have to be in the hospital, didn't have the ventilator, didn't have the real bad COVID, you know. So I'm so grateful and I know what it is to have some type of COVID. There's all kinds of COVID, you know. So at this time, uh, we are uh, still uh, going through another option, of, uh, not an option, but another uh, illness that is called monkeypox. And uh, <laughs> I am uh, just praying and asking God to uh, protect those out here in this world, protect us all that are here in this world, that we are being careful, that we are uh, continuing to do the right things, uh, still you know, washing your hands and wearing your mask, you know, when you're going out somewhere that you're not familiar with, wear your mask and uh, just be careful um, and continue to know that God has us covered. We continue to to, uh, do the right things by ourselves and others that we may be in contact with. Yeah, I I got off subject of, 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 of the project of us working on, but that's just a part of, you know, staying encouraged if you end up with an illness and it takes you down for a little while, but you just continue to take care of yourself. And then once you're feeling well enough to where you can get back to that project, you just get back to that project and start working on it and you'll get it done when it's time to get it done. Sometimes we give ourselves deadlines and uh, because you have not met that deadline, you're feeling discouraged, but don't feel discouraged because you still have time to finish that project. And it may be even a good reason that you didn't get it done at the time that you wanted to, because it wasn't time to be shared yet. So believe in yourself, continue to push for your project or whatever it is that you're trying to do to bless others, because that's what you're doing. You're blessing others with your project that you're going to be sharing with to others. Keep smiling and keep believing in yourself. Take care of yourself and believe that you are here on this earth for a reason to bless. Be blessed. Continue to love. Continue to be kind. And believe in yourself that you are going to be awesome. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. You can. So hold on to that project. Hold on to your dream. Don't give up on any obstacle that comes in your way. Don't give up on on that because you're going to have obstacles and that should make you stronger. Even want you to even want to proceed in that project, even the more because you've had an obstacle. So continue to believe in yourself, work hard on taking care of yourself and being well and staying kind and loving on yourself, loving on others having good friends in your life, have staying in a good circle of people that um, are encouraging, motivating, inspiring. 
because if you're going to be uh, doing a project to bless others, that's the type of uh, atmosphere you need to be in so you can uh, continue to finish your project that you're sharing for others. I love you. I pray that you're doing well. I pray that you have a good rest of the week. Take care of yourself, and I'll keep you in my thoughts and my prayers. I love you. Take care.